yeah, this video, we have some big news. Hi guys, so as you would have just seen by that little clip, in this video we have some serious, serious news and we really open up about our relationship since, you, uh, since leaving the UK and we're really letting you in on uh, personal information about us really, isn't it? Yeah. We let you in on the personal side, not just the vlogging side and what you see daily. So yeah, this video, we have some big news. So back in the UK, me and Jordan had a house together. We bought it a couple of years ago and we did live together. Although obviously we had a house together, there was still time apart because we obviously went to work and whatnot compared to now when it's solid travelling. So it's definitely testing the boundaries of the relationship. So yeah, we lived together, but we wasn't together 24 seven. So this is very, very different to life back at home. And we're just gonna let you in on the ride that we've had so far within the past four weeks. So since leaving the UK, it has been quite stressful on our travels. Not because we're not enjoying it, just because there's so much to do, there's so much to think about, and you've just got to do it on the spot because we have nothing booked in advance. We're always thinking about where we're going next and what we need to book. It can be stressful because obviously you're constantly living out of a backpack, so as soon as you get settled in one place, you're then moving on to another. But that obviously has its bonuses that you can then pick and choose wherever you want to be the next day. As you'll see by this title, is our relationship going to make it through this? Before we left the UK, this was our major concern. I think it should be a concern to anyone that's going travelling as a couple, even if you live together, if you don't live together. Because we just didn't know how we was going to be with each other 24-7 in the hot in the hot heat. Um, and, you know, not really knowing what's happening from one minute to the next. Especially with it being a new country as well, and we're wearing 13 kilos of weight on the back. And like I say, it gets hot, so it can definitely make things more intense than what they potentially would be back home. So we just want to let you guys know that yes, we bicker behind the scenes that you don't see. Um, we argue, nothing major though, and we're very, very lucky to have each other, I feel, because we're basically best friends and we get on so well. And yes, it's stressful, yes, we've been bickering over little things, like we know how to push each other's buttons yeah definitely but we're doing something that we love and this is something that we both wanted to do it has been a test to at times but it's been 100 worth it in my eyes and i don't feel like homesick or anything like that no i just couldn't imagine and this is a little bit cringy but i couldn't imagine traveling on my own or with somebody else so. <laughs> No, this is serious, like, I'm glad that I'm getting to do it with Jordan and we're experiencing all this different culture, different way of living your life, um, living out of a rucksack, we get to do it together and it's amazing and if you ever get the chance to do it, really think about it and look into, you know, what could happen and, and can you do it and just go for it. So. Our relationship is going strong, we're having the best time together and we're making some amazing, amazing memories. So if you do have doubts about it and think, oh, can, can our relationship go through this? Yes, it can, because if you're doing something that you're loving, you're doing it together, it's amazing. Yeah, even if sometimes my face in the video may look a bit like I'm depressed, it indicates. See, obviously, I'm just not that like, good on the camera. I'm more the bloke behind the camera, so. But we're having the most amazing time and this is only four weeks in. We just wanted to let you guys know how we've been doing. Because obviously you only see the vlogs, you only see the activities. You don't really see anything behind the camera. And there's times when we do things and we make each other laugh or one of us does something stupid and we just wish we had the camera with us 24-7. But obviously that isn't possible because then we wouldn't enjoy ourselves. So you've got to have a bit of in between. Anyway, enough with the soppy relationship stuff. So moving on, we have some news to tell you guys. Very exciting news. We have extended our trip. Yep. After Singapore, as you would know if you've watched our vlogs. If you haven't, make sure you go back and check them out. And subscribe. 
don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit that bell as well to uh, get, get, get all our notifications because we are posting every single day. But after Singapore, which we leave on the 25th and it's now the 14th, we actually have plans for after that. You tell them, you tell them, so I'm excited. So after Singapore, we are going to Penang. We're going to Penang for about four or five days. We're going to do loads of exploring. It's going to be like jam packed full because obviously it's only a short amount of time. We still need to look into things that we want to do because we haven't really looked into it. <laughs> no, just seen a few things that We've look just interesting. We've just It's the cheapest one from Singapore. Yeah, so that's the thing we should tell you. We literally just went on Skyscanner, put in Singapore for our departure departure city, and put in the whole month, like to see which date was the cheapest. And we literally just put in anywhere, we want to go anywhere, and Skyscanner just brought up the cheapest. And we were just like, let's go there. Mm. And it was the cheapest. And then it was also cheaper to fly from Singapore to Penang first and then Penang to Kuala Lumpur, even though they are only an hour between, were that cheaper? Yeah, so after Penang, we're going to Kuala Lumpur. We're doing that for about four or five days, and not like a massive length of time, but just enough time to get in all the exploring that we need to do. I'm so excited, because I've only just started looking into it, and I've only just watched a few videos, but so far it looks like it's gonna be insane, so I'm so excited for that. After Kuala Lumpur, do we have any plans? Not yet. Nothing set in stone, but there is talk of us going to Vietnam. Vietnam, Cambodia, maybe Laos. It's whatever um, works out cheapest. Yeah, it. so Cambodia at the minute is working out the cheapest, but again, we don't know what that's about. We've not looked into anything to do with Cambodia, but that's the same with Malaysia, and we've already booked that. So who knows? We'll probably, we'll probably look more when we get close to the top. That is our exciting news. So if you stuck around this long, make sure you subscribe, turn on that bell, and give us a like. And also don't forget to comment if you've been to any of the places that we've been or the places that we're going. If there's anything you recommend for us to do, then please, please comment it down below and we will reply to all of your comments. Like, we're new, we're new to all these places, so we need loads of help on where to go, what to do, and what's best. From locals or people that have been before, because they normally have the best experience. Better than TripAdvisor or what have you. Yeah, personal experience is always the best. So just let us know. So we are going to be uploading 6pm every day in London time. Um, so whatever that is your time, just <laughs> wear that out. Just Google it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching and thanks for sticking around and thank you for your continued support, we really appreciate it.